This guy has his own personality and it does, he doesn't share it with anybody else. I saw some extreme pumpkins that it weren't like anything I'd seen before and I just thought, that looks like an awful lot of fun, I, I should try that. Yeah, I've carved a jack-o'-lantern before, let's see how far I can take it. Well, generally, I'm looking for the shape. Um, tall pumpkins make great open mouth scream faces um, or real more realistic faces, um, whereas wide pumpkins make really great grins and you can really exaggerate the, the expression. Heaviness is a big thing too because the heavier it is, the easier it's going to be to carve. I don't hollow out the pumpkin, I just carve the surface of it. So all I do is shave off the, the rind and then just immediately start. First thing is to decide on an expression. The more extreme and exaggerated, the better. This could be a surprised face on this side. This could be a scowling face on this side. I like to know which way the stem is going to be facing. So I don't, I don't want to carve something that where the, where the stem disappears and you don't see it later on. The way it starts is, is I, I take a large tool, a scraping tool, just at random expose some of the meat. Once I've gotten the rind off of, of the center area, I don't know what it's exactly it's going to be yet. All right, I have decided this one is going to be scowling with his brow, but he's going to be grinning widely with an evil grin. So I start just kind of digging out the eye orbits and around the nose. It depends on, on how the pumpkin cooperates with me. I have one exacto knife that I use for the, for the final tiny little details, like when I'm cutting the teeth or something like that. Um, but almost everything is, is just a scraping tool. These things are like sandpaper. It's like, like great smoothing tools. Whenever I get to this point, I have this overwhelming memory trace of when I'm at my dentist and my dental hygienist is flossing me. They all rot. They all rot at about the same pace. But they generally last about two days before the nose starts to shrivel up and, and dry. And, and usually by the time I do throw them out, it, I have to use a shovel. <laughs> Last year it was just an experiment to see if I could do it. This year is less of an experiment. It's the, exper the experiment's still there, but now it's to see how well I can do it. They're nuts! Are you kidding? <laughs> it's a compulsion. <laughs>